Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. This is the 15th in a series of videos on the topic Encounter with the Jupiterians, channeled by Alice B. Claggett. It's quite a series, and so I'm glad I'm finally getting it on video for you. This, the 15th in the series, is entitled As Proto-Sapiens, the Jupiterians might have heard early Earth being born. I found some music, some very interesting music on YouTube. It's called Jupiterian Proto Sapien Full Album Stream Transcending Obscurity Records. And so the name of the group, the performing group, is Transcending Obscurity. Uh, the music came out in the year 2020, so there's a good chance you could find it online under the title Jupiterian. Proto Sapien Full Album Stream. I enthusiastically listened to this music, and from it and from the album cover art, which was intriguing, I feel there must have been sentient Jupiterian life within or around Earth prior to the primordial soup in the ancient prehistoric days of Earth. If Jupiterian, then where was it then, merely listening from afar? The music of the album reflects the sounds of earth mourning, very definitely so. The term proto-sapiens might be loosely translated original or primitive sentient one. Were fungi amongst the first species of Earth? According to the scientific record, bacteria first appeared on Earth 3.5 billion or more years ago, and fungi did not appear on Earth until about 1 billion years ago. My hunch, though, is that fungi were on Earth at a much earlier time but that their way of life made it difficult for scientists to discover archaeological evidence of that. The artwork on the album cover of the Jupiterian Protosapien recording is of a human skull with myriad gossamer fine filaments, perhaps mycelia, extending out from it like very fine silver white hair. This makes sense to me, given the above channeling. As proposed above, I feel the Jupiterian, subterranean beings of Earth, must live in fungal networks. These great sentient Jupiterian communities must have existed long before humankind arose as a sentient species. As the artwork on the album cover indicates, they might foresee our demise as a species. Or the album might mean that their fungal communities help decompose our bodies on death to those elemental substances that will add nutrients for future generations of earth beings to our soils and oceans. On YouTube, under more info for the album, I see a note of awe and trembling inspired by the music. There is mention of the feeling of technology tonic plates shifting, the sound of titans felt to be overlords of our planet. It fer refers to the music carving its own path and trampling on whatever opposes it. I assumed from the cover artwork this also included human beings. They might be trampled on. I guess from that Every species feels within itself, initially, a species morphic notion that it is like the center of everything. I mean, what do humans think of fungi? They barely think of them at all. How then might we fault fungi were we to suddenly find that they are greatly sentient for feeling the same way towards our species. The thinking person must needs agree 
A meeting of two sentient species requires that both rise to the understanding that the universe is large and sentient species many, that we as the many are part of the one, that each has its place in the all. I myself feel we humans need not step back in fearful awe when we see the great culture and the great fund of knowledge of a newly discovered sentient species, and that despite the fact they may be a sentient species much older than our own, and with a social memory complex far more expansive than ours in the current timeline, we humans can multi-dime and multi-time, can we not? We have that knowledge, and possibly we may be the only species in this spatio-temporal anomaly who are so equipped. If that is so, and even if our role is but to teach other species these skills, it is clear that we have much to offer by way of cultural exchange. Through this music, we get a glimpse of the world of another culture, the Jupiterian culture. It is different from our own. Curiosity takes over when awe is let go. What are these peoples like? What are their cultural values? How may our two cultures benefit the one from the other? What role may each of our cultures play in new life on new earth? That's it for now, dear ones. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.